Woj, what ultimately pushed the deal through? Uh, Kevin, once Carmelo Anthony expanded that no trade list uh, beyond Houston to Oklahoma City and Cleveland in the past 10 days, uh, that started to open up more conversations for the Knicks. And then here on the eve of training camp, pressure from Carmelo Anthony and his camp to the Knicks that he did not want to report, he did not want to put on that Nick uniform again, and that they needed to find a trade for him before media day on Monday, before camp started on Tuesday, the Knicks finally acquiesced. Why, why did this take until the start of camp? Why not get it done over the summer and we avoid all of this? Ultimately, it was the expansion of the list, Kevin, that there was no way to get a deal done with Houston that either team made sense, that made sense for either team. Houston wanted to put Ryan Anderson, his three-year, $60 million, uh, three $60 million contract in a deal with New York. New York wanted uh, Eric Gordon, Trevor Ariza. Houston wasn't doing that. So once they got beyond that, the, the Cleveland and Oklahoma City uh, expansion of the list then allowed New York to have some more flexibility and talks. Uh, but New York was very leery of having this mellow saga hang over them all through training camp. It would have been the dominant story every day. And Scott Perry took inventory, the new Knicks GM, took inventory here over the last 48, 72 hours and decided he needed to get a deal done now and, and took, in his mind, the best deal he could get.